Hello. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> There's just a few of us on here now, so I will give it a little bit of time for people to jump on, but I will get going at about, well, it's 3.59 now, so in like a minute or so. Looks like everyone is doing okay. Hopefully everybody has been staying in the house and keeping safe. I have, I've only, I did have to break out for a little while yesterday, but I did it safely. I had been in the house for about four days straight and it was time to go. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take a walk tomorrow. A walk around the neighborhood. So hopefully everybody is holding up well through all of this. It is four o'clock. So typically people start jumping on in the first few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I realize I haven't been doing like intros. You know, it's like I'm in my classroom and I don't have to introduce myself to you guys every day. But in case there are people on here who are not JAM students, um, I am Erin Kendrick. Uh, my students call me Miss Erin, and I am the visual art instructor at Jacksonville Art and Music School. Uh, we are an after-school program in Jacksonville, Florida. So we see our students from four to six every day, every you know weekday. Um, they come to us after attending their respective schools, and we are a creative arts and leadership program. So we have uh, visual art, we have film, we have dance, we have music, including vocal. We also have a robotics program and a Taekwondo program. So we have a lot going on. We all love to be there um, every single day. And I'm sure <laughs> um, if my students are anything like me, we are all missing each other very much. You know, I miss seeing my kids, my students every day. So. Um, but this is the best we can do right now. So we've been doing this for about three weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Desiree. Amen. We've been doing this for about three weeks now, and we will continue to do this, um, you know, for as long as we are out of school. We are still following the same um, Duval County Schools calendar. So we function as they function. Um, and hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll all kind of get back to our regular schedule program, and we can all be in the same building again, hopefully very soon. Hi, Zach. Tell them one I said hi. So, all right, we're gonna kind of jump into this today. Today we are not doing a recorded video, so today we're gonna go um, completely live. Um, looks like everybody can hear me, so I figured out the sound issue, because um, I'm actually using both cameras today. I'm using my regular, computer um, camera right now. So that's how you're seeing me. And then I'm gonna do a split screen with the new camera to do the demo. So we're not gonna watch a recorded video today. We're going to um, do two kind of like simultaneous live videos. Um, and that's just cause today's gonna be, you know, every once in a while you've kind of been in class for a while, you're over it in terms of listening to your teacher and <clears throat> You just want to have a little fun. So that's how we're going to set up today. You know, it's close to Easter. Um, and while all of you may not celebrate Easter, um, it's really just like a fun painting activity with some eggs at home. So even if you aren't really considering this in terms of it being an Easter project, just consider, you know, a lot of times we like to have fun with food. And a lot of times we do things in the classroom, everything from decorating cupcakes to doing doing a cookie color wheel, which I do plan on doing sooner or later here. You know, I always try to keep the, reduce the number of times I'm asking your parent or guardian to buy things for the class, but I do hope to do the cookie color wheel pretty soon in this class. So we'll kind of push that out a couple weeks so that I can let your parent or guardian know that they're going to need some cookies and some um, food dye. So, but we'll do that a little bit later. Today we are going to be painting some Easter eggs or painting some eggs, I should say. So I'm gonna go ahead and split the screen so you can see, move some things around. So you can see. All right. I'm gonna leave it on the half screen for just a little while and then I'll put this on. But you know, you see my, oh, wrong arm. <laughs> you see my 
live hand here. So these are two live videos. Um, the the egg that you see right now is on the new camera, so it probably has a lot better quality. So when we are doing the recorded videos and things like that, everything from now on will be on this brand new camera that I got. Um, thanks to Mr. Jason, our fearless leader at Jams. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to play around with our watercolors. A lot of times when you paint eggs with food coloring, you know, it kind of gets all over your hands and stuff like that. But today we're going to play around with painting um, some eggs with watercolor. I see... Um, so Jamari, you don't necessarily have to paint a flower. And that's kind of how today's gonna set up. It's almost like a free time day. So a lot of times in my class, we'll have like just some free time for you to just be creative and have some fun. So I'm gonna show you how to do, um, I do still have two brand new eggs here. And I'm gonna show you guys um, just basically how we're going to do this. And then you have the option to really paint what you want. So you can paint whatever you want on your egg. We're just gonna talk about some tips and techniques um, for how to do and what to do and all that stuff. And then we will, I'll let you go from there. So we may not be on here for a full hour today. We're just gonna kind of talk through this project, have a little fun, see what we come up with. And then um, you can kind of go from there. We'll just kind of hang out a little bit today. Just kind of hang out, talk to each other while we're working, have some fun. So that is how today will be set up, all right? So the things that you need to have with you today, of course you need, I remember which camera one. Of course you need your eggs. It is very important today that you have a paper towel, all right? We don't wanna get watercolor all over our like desk and tables and all of that. So, and just the way we're gonna be painting these eggs, they can get a little messy. So you do wanna have like a few paper towels there to absorb some of that water and paint. You of course need your watercolors. All right, this is the same watercolor palette I've been using for every class. You need your brush. I always need that. And your water cup, all right? So these are all the same supplies we've been using, but that's all you're gonna need today. Now, if you are in this class, maybe for the first time, if you didn't realize today that you needed um, some boiled eggs, because you don't wanna use raw eggs for this project, just in case you drop it, you don't want to get raw egg in your floor. It will not be nice in a few days. It will be very bad in a few days because it's gonna stink in a few days. So, um, so if you don't have boiled eggs already to do this project, it's always something you could do later, but um, you can always draw your eggs on a sheet of paper. So really quickly, if you are someone who has to do that, I am going to just give you a quick demo of that. So I'm using my Sharpie. You can use a Sharpie or a pencil. You know, I always have my trusty pencil pretty close. All right, so I'm gonna use my Sharpie and I'm just going to draw two overlapping eggs on my paper, okay? So two overlapping eggs on my paper. The screen gets darker just because it's the white paper is reflecting the light. Um, so all I'm going to do, try to make sure you can see, is I am going to draw two overlapping ovals, all right? Remember a circle, this is a circle, this is an oval, all right? So I wanna put two ovals. I want to try to start and stop in the same place. It's not the best, but I am drawing kind of backwards. Um, on my page, well, all right, so however you want to do it, you can do it that way. You can, I'm going to draw two more. You can just put two side by side, but you're really just giving yourself two eggs to paint. Forgive my funny looking eggs because I am holding this paper in my hand, all right? So if you don't have the boiled eggs with you today, feel free to just draw some eggs out and then we can do the painting activities on the paper, okay? All right, let's get going. So. 
First thing we want to do, as always, we want to put our brush in our water. Now for this activity, um, on my first egg that I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna do the kind of colorful one first, the one with the color all over. For that one, you do wanna have a little bit more water in your brush, so for that one, you know, like right now you can see, I don't know if you can see, like the water kind of dripping off my brush, so I'm not really get, getting rid of the water on my brush for this one. I might just kind of brush it up against the side of the cup so it's not too much water, but I do wanna have a little bit of water in my brush for my first egg. All right, so I'm gonna grab my egg, get it in the right place. Okay, so for this one, I have a little bit of water on my brush and I am going to, actually, I'm gonna make this bigger so you guys can see, hold on. There we go. All right, so I have a little bit of water on my brush. I am going to just wet a little spot on my egg. Not a big spot, just a little spot on my egg. Then I'm going to take out some paint. So right now I am putting my wet brush into one of my colors. I am choosing the color red. I'm getting some red paint on my brush. And the same way we did in the last project, where we kind of wet the paper first and then put the color in there, I am just gonna kind of dot my egg right where that color is. And I just let the water just kind of move around with that color. I can kind of put some paint in some different spots. I can, um, if I want to get a little bit more water on my brush, I can add a little bit more water to kind of start to force, I'm shaking it, so I can make it run down, so I can get sort of like a drip in my egg. All right, I am cleaning out my water right now. Can you hear that? Cleaning out my cleaning out my water. I'm cleaning out my brush in my water right now. And then I am going to once again, I'm just gonna kind of turn my egg a little bit. I wanna wet a different spot. I'm gonna grab a different color of paint. So right now I am in my green paint. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna kind of dot my egg in that place where I have that water and just let the paint just sort of run. If I want to, I can go into like the area where I had the red paint and put a little paint there. If I want to, I can add a little bit more water to it and cover a larger area. But this is just a way to add some all over color to your egg. So now I'm gonna sort of turn, you kind of have to have a good grip on your egg because you don't want to drop it. You see how the paint's getting on my finger, that's okay. But you just want to sort of keep turning, turn the egg in your hand to find new places to paint. So I'm cleaning out my brush so I can get some fresh water. I'm gonna add some more water to my egg in a different place. Then I'm going to put some water in a different color. I'm gonna grab some blue this time. So I'm getting some blue paint. And I'm just gonna to continue to do that very same thing. I'm just gonna to continue to add a little bit of color in the wet spaces on my egg. I can even go back in some of the places that I've already painted. Like you can see how the red and the green are already, the green is still a little wet, but the red is starting to dry. So you can add more color to that if you want but you're really just sort of working your way around your egg, wrong way, working your way around your egg, adding water. You don't, I'm, I'm just looking at your questions. Uh, let's see. Can you get a cup of paint and drop an egg in it? Um, if you want to, you can tint your water. This is for Jamari's question. You can tint your water with your paint. So you know how when you clean out your paintbrush, your water turns color? You can add color to your water and then dip your egg in there, but just be mindful that there's so much water, you're gonna have so much more water than paint that when you take your egg out of there, it's gonna be pretty light. So yes, you can do that if you want, um, but you either need to do that with a little bit of water or you need to um, <clears throat> just expect the color to be light uh, because you're gonna have so much water, so much more water than paint. 
Um, Nemo asked, do you have to do the same as me? Not necessarily right now. I'm just going to show you two techniques today. I'm going to show you how to kind of paint it all over the way I'm doing it now. But if you want to paint like stripes or something like that, or some other design on it, you can. So I'm going to show you two different things. But like I said, today is kind of like a free day for you to be as creative as you want to be. So if you want to paint something different, you are welcome to do so. All right. Um, all right. Hello, Zion. How are you? Make sure you're painting. I gave you a drawing option. So if you don't have eggs to paint, you can always um, just draw your eggs. Here, I'll put them over here. You can always just draw your eggs on a sheet of paper and paint the paper, okay? All right, so we want to make sure I'm going to kind of turn my eggs some in my hand so I can get to a new spot. I'm going to keep adding water first. And then let's say I'm going to try a lighter color this time. So I'm going to try a little bit of yellow this time. So I'm getting some yellow paint on my brush. And then I am just going to add some yellow and just let it run just like I did with the other colors. I can start to mix it in some different places with, oh, with colors that I've already painted. So I might go over a section that I've already painted. And I will just kind of keep working my way around my egg, adding some different colors. Zion, really. All right, I want y'all to be able to talk and chat, but you have to kind of, um, one, keep it friendly and be, be aware that there are other people on here, okay? So I really need um, you guys to stop. Zion, Jabari, all of you. Let's have friendly conversations. All right, so I'm adding some more water. And I'm going to add a little orange to it. So I'm just picking out different colors. And just adding more and more as I go. And just having some fun. So eventually my whole egg will be painted. And I just keep going until I have what I want, until the whole egg is done. And it'll be like a nice sort of rainbow colored egg. Now, as it sits and dries, some of the colors will run together a little bit more. Let's see, I haven't used purple yet. Some of the colors will sit and run together a little bit more. Really like adding purple almost always starts to make it go a little brown in some areas. So just be conscious of that. Adding some water. I'm going to add a little bit more of the purple. So just about all of my colors except for black and brown, I added to my egg. See how it's kind of running all around? This depends on how you're holding your egg. Of course, there's a lot of paint dripping. So that's why I said you want to make sure you have some paper towels available. All right. So that's my first egg design. And just having sort of like a rainbow colored egg. Now you can let this dry for a while. <clears throat> and just like paper, if you want to add some more color to it later, I'm just trying to sort of turn it for you. If you want to have a little bit more color, the same way we talked about adding second coats of paint. You can do the same thing with your egg. So you can take this, let it sit and dry for a little while, and then go back and add another coat of paint to it. So we're going to do that. We're going to put this one to the side, and we're going to let this sit and dry. Keep in mind that whatever part of it is sitting on your paper towel, I just set it on my paper towel for it to dry. Whatever part of it is sitting on your paper towel, um, the paper towel will pull some of that color off of it. So you may just want to replace that color later. All right, so I am going to grab a new egg. All right. <clears throat> and I'm going to do two different things. So I'm going to treat one side kind of like um, how I had in the example. So in my example one earlier, I, paint, I did paint flowers on it. 
but I know all of you might not want to paint flowers on your egg. So I'll show you on one side of my new egg how to paint the flowers. And then on the other side, we'll just kind of paint something different. So you let me know what you want me to paint. All right, so here's my new egg. <clears throat> now this time I don't want to have all that water in my breast. So let me grab this really quick so I can show you. I do already, because I just use all of my colors, all of the colors have a little bit of water in them already, and I'm just letting that kind of sit and letting that color really saturate in the water. <clears throat> so I am actually going to, this time, take my brush, and I'm going to dry it off just by touching it down onto my napkin. I don't, you don't need to do this, all right? You don't need to dry it out completely. You don't want a dry brush, so I'm putting it back in the water. You just want the paper towel to absorb a little bit of the water. So I am just sort of tapping the paper towel and letting it absorb some of the water. Then I'm going to grab my egg. And I am going to, let's see, I'll go with red. I'm going to start with the red. So I'm getting a little red paint. And all I'm going to do is make three sort of like little circular marks. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you on the paper first. All right, there's my paper. I'm going to make one, two, three. It's just like three little lines kind of around each other, <clears throat> three little curved lines. So kind of repeating what we did in the other class, three little curved lines. They don't have to look exactly like mine. You just wanna put some little curved lines sort of around each other just like that, okay? So I'm gonna do it on my egg now. <clears throat> So I have my egg, I'm gonna go one, two, three, okay? I got a little space in the middle there, so I'm gonna add like a little bit of a line right there in the middle. So there's no real like right or wrong way to do this, it doesn't matter. You just wanna put three little curve marks with your brush. Just try to use the tip of your brush. Don't press down too hard and make a quick little curve. I just cleaned out my brush. I'm tapping it on my napkin again. And this time I'm gonna grab a yellow <clears throat> and around my red. So around my red paint, I'm gonna start to just add more curved lines. It may even pick up the red a little bit and that's perfectly fine. All right, so it's kind of an abstract flower. I'm gonna go over here and add another little one. Okay. Now the colors are starting to run together a little bit and that's fine, not a big deal. And then you can either add another row of what would essentially be the petals. You can add that in a different color if you want. Let's see, I'm gonna rinse out my brush, tap it on my napkin. I'm gonna grab a little bit of an orange and just add another layer, okay? It's watercolor, so it's okay if one color sort of runs into another color. So it's almost like one big flower. I'm cleaning out my brush again. I'm tapping it on my napkin to absorb some of that water. I'm gonna get a little bit of green so I can add a little bit of a, a little leaf. So it's just like a little mark with my brush. Try to get over there. A little mark with my brush. My brush is a little dry. I'm gonna grab a little bit more water. And just kind of work my way around, adding like little marks to function like little leaves. <clears throat> All right, so that's my flower design. Um, I am on my second egg, Jaya, uh, I believe Jaya is asking me, or Lyric is asking, how many eggs do you need to paint? It's kind of like however many eggs you have. If you have one egg, then that's all you'll be able to paint. But if you have one or two, so you can paint however many eggs you have available. Um, you know, we don't want you to ask your parents to boil every egg in the house because we want to make sure y'all have breakfast food and stuff like that if you eat eggs. 
But um, this assignment only really called for one to two eggs. So right now I am painting my second egg. So on this one, just to do something different, I am going to turn my egg around. I got to put it in my other hand and turn it around. All right. So this is kind of like my clean side of my egg. So you tell me, does anybody want me to paint a certain thing on this new egg, this side of the egg? <clears throat> Has to be something pretty simple because I only have one, one brush. All right. And just related in terms of looking at the brush size and the egg, I can't get too detailed. So anybody have any ideas about what I should paint? I see Diane, you said blue and black, but paint what blue and black? You just want the whole thing to be blue and black? You want like a certain kind of design on it? Jamari, I think you're saying Easter, Easter what? Give me an idea of something though, Zion. Give me something to paint, not just the color. Space? Hmm. Um, let's see. How can we make this look like space? We can kind of do it the way we did it the last time. But you would. I did flowers on the other side, Jamari. All right, with the galaxy. <clears throat> There's a way to do the galaxy, but you can't do it all. You need some other things. We don't have everything we need to do the galaxy right now. But let's see. We're going to play around with it. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to use my brush. I'm rinsing out my kind of, you know, cleaning my brush in my water. How about a pond and a lily pad? We can do that. Let's go with that one. Let's go with the pond and the lily pad just because we um <clears throat> we did the galaxy in the last class, all right? So when I'm thinking about like a pond and a lily pad, I'm going to grab my paper first so I can think through the idea. Grab a clean sheet of paper. I always keep my paper handy for sketches. I am going to unfocus my screen so you can see me on both sides. All right, so I can do it bigger here. All right, remember the paper kind of makes the screen go darker just because the paper is reflecting the light. But in terms of a pond and a lily pad, I am thinking off the top of my head. So if this gets weird, you know why. But I am thinking, if memory serves me correctly, I need some weight so I don't mess this up. If memory serves me correctly, a li lily pad is probably something like, oh no, something like that. This is why we have sketch paper, so we can kind of figure out the shape. So I'm just kind of sketching out what I believe a lily pad looks like. I'm just sort of playing around until I get the right shape. Is that about right? For a lily pad? <laughs> no. <laughs> Isn't it kind of like that? Kind of like a little oval shape. Something. It's not something like that. I think it is. Kind of looks like Pac-Man. It does. But is that a lily pad? I think this is what a lily pad looks like. Zion says yes. And Jamari says yes. Two yeses is good for me. All right, so if I'm going to do a lily pad, just less wide in the space. Of course, yes, because I'm thinking about the water, too. But what I want to do is put, like, the lily pad. Um, I'm going to make this shape on my egg first in sort of like a green color, and then I'm going to do the water around it. Because it's an egg, you can't really, and then because we're using watercolor paint, you can't really, like, paint all the water blue and then put the lily pad on top of it because the green and the blue are really just going to mix together. So we're going to try to work around it um, instead of working on top of it, okay? So I am going to um, I'm gonna look up a lily pad on my phone to see if I want to add anything else to it. And then we will do it on the egg. Picture references are always cool. Oh, wow. Images. Okay, where's my egg? So here's my egg. All right, and then they have like the pink flower. 
So, okay, so let's, we can add the flower to it also if you want. The flower is, I am going to go back to my image and I'm going to just draw this right into my little sketch from before. I'm drawing upside down, so bear with me. It's like the flower kind of takes this shape almost. This is the shape we're gonna give it for today. All right, so I just drew it as if it was overlapping. But because we talked about overlapping last time, because the flower sits on top of the lily pad and the lily pad sits on top of the water, we're going to do the flower first, then the lily pad, then the water around it. That's how we're gonna paint this, all right? And we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Because I'm doing this for the first time and I don't know if it's gonna work. But here we go, all right. Here's our egg. This is going to be a little bit ab abstract because we're working really small. I don't have pink paint, but I do have red. And I'm gonna show you how you can lighten up your color. So I'm using my paint palette. Your paint palette has this other side to it, basically like the top of the palette. Um, the top, these are your paint wells. This is essentially your actual palette here. So you can kind of mix colors here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my red and I'm gonna put it down here in my palette. Because it's so red and I want it to be a little bit more pink, I'm gonna take this little bit, I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. So I just stuck my brush in my water and I'm just gonna sort of thin it out some. I'm just adding more water to it up here and that's gonna help to thin it out a little bit. It still just looks red, but the more water you're using, the lighter it will be, and I want it to be a little lighter. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, grabbing my egg. I'm gonna go ahead and make my screen bigger. All right, here goes. I don't want, I have a lot of water in my brush right now, and I don't wanna have a lot of water in my brush, so I'm gonna tap. Because the more water you have in your brush, the more the paint's going to run down the egg. And right now we don't want to do that. So I am tapping my paper towel. I'm actually moving in May too, Diane. So I'm packing up also. All right. So I'm just gonna draw or paint something like, I have like no color right now. Hold on. Something like a little lily pad, okay? Now I don't want that little bit of paint to run. You see how it's kind of gathering down there? So I'm gonna tap my brush, lay my brush down on my paper towel and let it absorb all of that water. So I'm just laying my brush down on my paper towel right now. I'm gonna take this brush that's now a lot drier and I'm gonna stick it into that wet part of the paint and let the brush absorb that extra water, all right? So to repeat what I did, because I did not want, try to make sure you can see it in the light. Wrong way. <laughs> because I did not want that little bit of water sitting on the egg to run down the egg. I just tapped my brush on my paper towel. Show you. Okay. All I'm doing is just tapping. And I'll let you see it like as if I had. So if I, right now I'm putting paint in my brush. So right now I have paint in my brush. You see that little bit of water. If I tap, you see how the paper towel is absorbing the water out of the brush? And I just want to do that till there's no water left. You see how nothing's showing up on the paper towel? There's no water left. And then that gives me a dry brush to then go back and touch that little puddle that was there and then the brush will absorb the water. So that's what I just did. Okay, so starting out, that's my little abstract lily pad, my little flower that sits on my lily pad, okay? Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my green paint. I'm gonna get a little bit of green paint. Again, I don't wanna have a really wet brush. But I wanna make my lily pad, I wanna paint my lily pad around my flower. So I am going to, bear with me while I figure this out, cause I'm painting it backwards. I'm gonna kinda just outline it. All right, 
And then I'm just gonna clean it up and keep painting. Now you actually can do a very detailed, specific painting on an egg if you want. You just have to have the right kind of paint. And I don't necessarily know, I don't necessarily think that watercolor is the best paint for that. But since watercolor is what we use in this class and that's all we have, then that's what we are going to use today. All right, I have to turn it a little bit so I can see what I'm painting. I'm just kind of working down in between my flower petals. All right, so still looks a little bit like Pac-Man. I still have that little bit of water down there, so I'm gonna dry my brush off on my paper towel because I don't want that paint to run. And then I'm gonna just tap that little area and let my brush absorb the water. Dry it off again. Tap that little area, let my brush absorb the water. All right. So, not the best little painting, but it gets the point across. Thanks, Lawan. You're being very kind. <laughs> Because you and I both know that we can both do better than this. <laughs> All right. But considering that it's, it's backwards and it's an egg and this is watercolor, this is the best we have for today. Okay. So now I'm going to grab some blue paint. Same thing. I don't want my brush to be super wet. But I am going to start to work in the blue paint around the lily pad. Now, I, find, I personally feel like the blue paint is a little bit too dark, but it's okay for now. I'll add a little bit of water to it later. Now, because that blue paint is a little darker than the green paint, if I want to start to clean up some things, and oops, that was a mistake. If I want, now, here's an, an opportunity for me to tell you about watercolor. I can take my paper towel, I just tore a little bit of my paper towel off, and I can just press it onto that area where I made that mistake to get some of that blue out. And then later on after it's dry, I can just paint another coat of green to darken that back up and sort of get rid of that blue spot, so. Sorry. All right, so I can just kind of keep working my way around. I'm adding my blue. around my lily pad. I have to turn it so I can see what I'm painting. I'm just gonna continue to sort of paint and work my way around it. Hopefully I'm not painting all over my flower on the other side. All right, so that's what I have so far. Now you see it with my one little mistake in there, but I'm gonna let this be for now. I'm gonna let this one sit and dry, okay? So that's my little <laughs> lily pad with the flower. <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit and dry for a while, and then I can go back and clean it up. So I am going back, where's my first egg? All right, so this is the first egg we painted with the different colors, with the paint sort of just running everywhere and mixing in. It's my first one. It's basically dry. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna add a little bit more color to it. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before to this egg. So I'm gonna start, but this time I'm not really gonna add a lot of water first. I'm really just gonna get more paint. So I'm going right from my water cup into my paint well. I'm getting some more red paint right now. And I am just going to start to dab my egg with my paint. So you see this time, it's just like painting a second coat on paper. You see how much stronger the color is this time? Because you already have that first layer of paint. It's just a lot stronger the second time you paint it. Let's see, Jamar, if we have paper and we're done, of course you can, yes. 
All right. So if I want to like lighten this up, I can just kind of go get some water on my brush. I can just add a little bit of water to it if I want. And I can lighten up some spaces. Remember water. And your paper towel function like an eraser when it comes to watercolor. Or if I want, I can do what I did the first time. Add a little bit of water. Then grab some paint. And add a little bit more paint. All right. And you just get this really cool sort of abstract painted egg. Now, oh, wrong one. My water's getting a little dirty, so when I try to use my lighter colors, like I'm gonna try to use a little bit of yellow now, but it may have a little bit of dark in there just because my water is dirty. But I'm adding some yellow to it. So that's it, like the idea for today is just to be as creative as possible. Play around with some different ideas. And the great thing is, if you eat eggs, you can always just let this dry, then crack your eggshell, and then you can eat the boiled egg. Okay? So that's my little abstract one here. I'm going to let that dry some more. Just set it down on my paper towel. My hands are pretty, getting kind of dirty. But the good thing is that it's watercolor, so it'll come out. Um, so this is my flower that I let dry before here. Sorry, we don't need to see all of you. That way, that's my flower. And then on this side, this is my lily pad. All right, I told you we could fix that little blue spot. It's relatively dry. It's kind of like all absorbed into there. So I am going to, I am cleaning my brush and my water. I'm going to dry it off on my napkin because I don't want a lot of water in there. I don't eat them that much either, Luan, but I mean, I'll eat a boiled egg, but it's not something I just do on a regular basis. I don't want too much water in my brush because I don't want that paint to run down. But I do have a little bit more like fresh green paint. And right now I'm really just trying to clean up that little mistake that I had. So I'm just going to use a second coat of green to clean up my little mistake from before where I made a mistake and stuck the blue paint in my green lily pad. I can clean up my edges. Remember, I told you to kind of lay your brush down flat a little bit. So I'm just going in and just sort of cleaning up what I did before on my lily pad because I wanted to get rid of that extra little blue spot that I made. And then I could just clean some things up. So if I want to like correct the shape in my flower, okay. So now my little blue spot is gone. I do still have like the green in the bottom that looks like it's gonna run down. So I can clean out my brush, dry it off on my paper towel, and then just use my brush to kind of absorb some of that water. So I'm tapping my dry brush onto the paint to absorb some of that water in the places where I don't want it to run down. All right. So that's it. So it's kind of like just some, some free time for you guys. Just play around with your paints, paint whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> and then just see what you get from there. So these are like both of my, I turn it over. And both of my eggs for today. All right, it's kind of a super, it looks like a superhero. So that's what you're going to do with the rest of your time for today. Just play around with painting your eggs. Um, let's talk a little bit about the last class. I'm going to split this. Um, I'm going to go back to the full screen. Let's talk a little bit about the last class. Um, so we did have some technical difficulties on Tuesday that we 
thankfully have gotten corrected. I had to kind of just do some troubleshooting, um, check some help chats out and see what I needed to do wrong. I figured out what was wrong. So we fixed the sound problem. Um, we got all that corrected, but then we have like a YouTube issue. So the video from Tuesday didn't get loaded, but we have fixed that now. Um, so I will be loading all of the videos up to YouTube. So today's video um, and Tuesday's video will go ahead and load up on the YouTube and the jam site. Um, again, you know, on the jam site, the instructions for Tuesday's class are there. If you missed that, all of that's there. There are no instructions for today's class because today was kind of like a free kind of just be creative day. But so, um, by later tonight, we will have everything on the jam site, on the YouTube site, everything will be updated. Um, so my apology for not having that done before, but we did experience some technical difficulties over the last two days. You know, as I told you before, we are figuring this out as we go. We are learning about what equipment we need. Um, I told you that as of next week, um, let's get a little dark. As of the class next week, I am going to, it's my light. I am going to start using the new camera. So I did just use the new camera for the demo, but it's not on me. So I still may be a little fuzzy because I'm just using my regular computer webcam. But next week we will start using the, the new fancy camera. So it should be a lot clearer. Um, let's see. And then do you guys have any questions about anything so far? Um, do we take a picture of every assignment? Yes, I would love for you when you finish an assignment, like when you finish your eggs today, you can just kind of set them up on the table. So I might like take my two little eggs and, oh, I turned my camera on. And like prop my two little eggs up here. Let me get them set up and then I'll show you on the camera. <clears throat> I'm just splitting my screen. Okay. I might take my two little eggs and prop them up somehow. Because they're sitting on this flat surface, you might not see them in the bottom, but I would just kind of set them up on a table flat like that. I would grab my phone and just kind of, you know, you could just hold your phone up over it and take a picture of it just like that. So yes, I would like for you to take pictures of your assignments and then I'm going to put in the chat again um, the email address that you're going to email your pictures to. It is info at jamslife.org. Let's see. Music, do you know when? We're working on that now, so I'm not sure when just yet, but hopefully very soon. Um, and once we start adding the other classes, we should really just kind of start adding all of the other classes. But just know we're kind of working out the technical side of that now, and hopefully pretty soon we'll get the other classes up and running. Um, other classes do pose some other um problems to solve you know it's easy for us to give everybody a list of art supplies to grab or to create sort of like an opportunity for you guys to come up and pick up art supplies for free but when it comes to music everybody doesn't have access to instruments and things like that so that's the problem that we have to solve Jamari when it comes to the other classes it's an equipment issue so <clears throat> bear with us while we work all of that out because we want to make sure that we're fair to everybody and art was the easiest thing that we all could do at one time. So that's why we started with art. So, um, all right. So we're starting to lose the day. We had about 10 minutes left technically in the class, but we're basically done. Any other questions from anybody? Please let me know if you have any more questions. Remember, after your eggs are dry, if you're a, a person who eats boiled eggs, you can crack them and eat them. If you want, if you want to hold on to them till Sunday, for those of you who do celebrate Easter, if you want to hold on to them till Sunday, I don't know if you guys are going to be decorating more eggs or anything. Can you repeat the assignment for next week? You want to do, you're saying, can I do this again next week? Clarify your question for me. I haven't made up my mind about next week just yet. Um, but I would say we'll send out an email and I would say put your parents on notice that we may do the cookie color wheel in the next couple of weeks. So doing the cookie color wheel um, 
Oh, okay. Doing the cookie color wheel, you'll need some kind of cookie or pretzel or something. You'll need either um, whipped cream or cake icing, vanilla cake icing, just white icing, and um, three colors of food color, red, yellow, and blue. So we'll talk about that, and I'll give you and your parents or guardians like, oh, I can't take off the split screen, huh? Um, I'll give you guys like official notice of that because I don't, I, I don't ever want to like just bring that on people. I also don't ever want to assume that everybody can just go run out to the store and get those things for two reasons. One, everybody may not have access to it. And two, we're supposed to be in the house. So I'm not trying to send you guys and your parents out of the house for things or just create situations that would put you in an unsafe position. So um, we'll kind of figure that out over the next couple of weeks if, so we can do another food um, involved art project, which kids in my classroom usually love to do. But um, until then, I'll probably have the links posted for the next class by Saturday, if not Friday, maybe eh, I'll say Saturday, give myself two days to let you know what we're going to do. Um, if you have suggestions, if there are things that you want to do, just let me know. Um, you can just throw it in the chat box. Let me know if there's some things that you guys want to do. Keep in mind, we need to do it with the supplies that we have. Because like I said, I don't want to keep sending parents to the store. Sorry, coronavirus is messing up all of our plans. But we are resilient and we will adjust and we will all be just fine and we will all follow the rules. So, um. <clears throat> All right, so if you guys have any ideas for products you want to do, um, throw them in the chat box. Hannah and David, um, a gingerbread house is a great idea, but we don't all have gingerbread house materials. Same thing, Zion, we don't all have slime materials at our house, and I can't keep sending people to, to the store. So think about your supply list. You have watercolor. Um, you have watercolor. You have color pencils, you have paper, you have pencils. Um, so think about things that we can do with that. So think about learning how to do more drawing and painting techniques, because that's kind of where we are right now. All right, so um, just keep throwing your ideas in there and I'll keep reading them. I'll think through some other things and throw out some other ideas for you guys, but I will make a posting, um, probably by Saturday with the new class links for next week. Um, and we will kind of jump back in there and go from there. So just let me know. Yeah, we can do some fun things with like summer, summer picks and stuff like that. That's a good idea. So just let me know what you guys, um, would like to do and we will pick this thing back up on Tuesday. Today was fun. I hope you guys had some fun just kind of being silly with paint and food. Um, and we'll get back to learning tips and techniques next week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to go ahead and sign out for today. As you can see, it's getting darker. Even though I have three lights on around me, it's getting darker. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out for today. So I will speak to you guys. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Another thing that I can do that I want to start to do on Tuesday, on here, I can invite people on screen. I think I can have up to four people on screen. So next, starting next week, I'm going to test that out over the weekend. And next week, I'm going to start inviting a few of you on screen with me so we can do what, um, so we can see what each other's doing. We can see you guys on screen. All right. So we'll look at that next week and pick it up from there. All right, so have a great weekend, everybody. Please have fun, stay safe, have a great holiday, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.